Do you need a new key for your Dodge or for a Chrysler Jeep or some Volkswagen vehicles? Well, I've got a solution for you. I'm Mike with Tomahawk DIY. Let me show you how to use the Simple Key Programmer to make yourself a new key fob and save tons of money over the car dealership. You can visit tomskey.com where you can order this for yourself. Let's go take a look at how it's done. So here's the new one we're gonna program. We'll put it in. See, it does nothing to start the engine. Uh, you got a warning light up here on the dash, it says wrong key fob. I push the buttons, nothing happens. Let's program it. The simple key user guide, this instruction manual, I'll show you each of the steps that you need to know. Uh, the first thing we've got to do is activate our the fob that comes with your simple key programmer. It's pretty easy, press the lock and panic button. We're gonna watch for a little light to turn on. Sometimes it can be under here. In this case, there's a little blue light that's gonna show up right under here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little blue light that's turned on in there. So that lets you know it's ready to be activated. Now in order to activate it, you need to enter the activation code. So from your instruction manual, find your vehicle. In my case, this is 2017 Dodge Ram. The code's 314. So uh, to enter the code, we're going to use the lock button. So that's the first digit. And the second digit is the panic button. The third digit is the unlock button. So I've got to turn this back on. The light's turned off. So press and hold. Blue light's on. So I'm going to enter three by clicking lock one, two, three times. Then I'm going to press the panic button once for the number one. And then my code was 314, so I need to press unlock four times. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to press the lock and panic buttons together and the light will blink back the 314 code. Three, pause, and then one blink, pause, one, two, three, four blinks. Okay, so it got the correct code. All right, this has been activated and is now ready to be programmed. The key that comes in the box will require activation, but many of the additional keys and key fobs that we sell do not require activation prior to programming. You'll know this because no activation light will turn on. So this is where we take our simple key programmer. Again, with the instruction manual, we come over here, find, we need to turn to dial position number four. We've got to plug this into the OBD2 port. There's this tamper evident seal. Once this is removed and connected to your vehicle, it will only program for this particular VIN number. You can do more than one keys. More than one key with it if you need. Uh, just to order extra keys from tomskey.com. All the doors shut. The vehicle is in park. We're going to turn the hazard lights on. Hazard lights are now running. And now we'll start the vehicle with our working key. Geological okay. survey. With the engine running, we're going to take our installer, the simple key programmer, and plug it into the OBD2 port down here. You'll hear it beep. Okay, so it gave three quick beeps. Uh, that means it's communicated properly with the vehicle. We can turn the engine off and pull our working key out. And then it's important to follow the instructions. In dial position four, it tells you to insert the key, but don't turn it on. Other dial positions, uh, you do something different, you actually turn it to the on position. Okay, so we're going to take our new key and insert it into the ignition. Now that it's in the ignition, we need to push the button on top of the simple key programmer. Okay, we heard three quick beeps, so we can remove the key now. And we push the button again. Okay, so it chimed. 
Um, that tells us that the pairing process has been completed. So with that, we're gonna un unplug our programmer. Turn the hazard lights off and find out if it works. Here we go. And starts starts the vehicle, just like that. Pretty easy to do. Uh, you gotta be sure you follow the instructions carefully. Uh, we do provide an 800 number in the frequently asked questions. It answers a lot of the common issues you can run into or there's a phone number you can call to get support and customer service if you run into issues. So, all right, this guy's starting the vehicle now. We're gonna check our old key, make sure that starts the vehicle as well. Download the VARO app. Okay, that one works. Now let's check our lock buttons. Here's the old key, locks, unlocks. Here's the new key, locks, unlocks. Let's check the panic. And the old one, okay. You got yourself a new key, you've saved a bunch of money. Pretty easy to do. Now don't forget to take the emergency keyblade to a locksmith, car dealership, or hardware store to get it cut to match your existing key. This will get you into your vehicle if your car battery dies. To help protect against lost keys, we sell this tile key finder. It ho hooks onto your keychain and simply pairs with your smartphone so you always know where your keys are at. All right, so there you have it. You saw just how easy it is to make a new fob for your Dodge. Go visit tomskey.com and place an order today. I also appreciate it. If you like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, let everyone know how it works for you, and especially how much money you're saving over the car dealership to get one of these made for your vehicle. Thanks and have a great day.